Hey, it's me, Robbie Burns, and I want to talk to you today about my favorite feature in the new update to Fourscore for iOS and the Mac. Fourscore 14 is out, and I'm going to put a link in the description of this video where you can go and find out all of the awesome features of this release. However, I'm going to show you my favorite, which is a huge improvement to the way that I work within Fourscore. The feature is called Automation Links. Now, you can see here on my Mac screen, I have a window with Fourscore open here on the left, and I have a note here in the middle, and then I have a presentation here on the right. I'll explain that in just a second. Now, what I have here is a window with a page inside of a method book that I might use. And in order for me to use this feature, I'm gonna go into the share menu, and then I'm gonna choose this new option called automation. And it's gonna allow me to generate a link to my clipboard that goes to the score itself or to the specific page in this score. I'm gonna to go to this specific page and that has been copied to my clipboard. Now here in this note, I might be writing a note to myself and I might wanna link directly to that document inside of Fourscore. So what I can do is paste that link into another place. Now, what more commonly I might do is say, this link will take me to you know, Roman numeral four in the Intermediate Standard of Studies book. And then of course I would click here and then paste that in there. And now of course, if I go anywhere inside of Fourscore or elsewhere on my computer, now this link will always take me directly to that exact page of the score. Really handy stuff. What I do is I put this inside of my lesson plan for the day. I write down the agenda in my band class and I actually am, this file is just a markdown file, which is a type of file that handles plain text on a computer. And because text files can be interacted with and used in multiple different types of applications, even at the same time, I have this text file being looked at by Obsidian, which is my note app, while simultaneously being looked at by Dexet, which is my presentation app or one of the presentation apps on my computer. And so what's really cool is that when I generate my plan for the day in my band class, I can have the sectionals of the day, an agenda with the order of the music that we're gonna play in class, all written in a note that I can read in plain text from my iPad. But what my students see is this beautiful presentation, which shows them all this stuff in a really big and legible and you know somewhat engaging way graphically. Now, what's cool is that I can, inside of my own version of this, the text version, I can have these links be clickable, which is pretty awesome. And then what I can do is, you know, the students, as you can see, those links do not render to the students. They just still see a list of the things we're going to do for the day. Whereas for me, I tap it on my iPad and it opens straight to that score inside of Fourscore on the iPad. Really cool feature. You can also invoke it by holding down Control, Option, Command, and the letter C for copy at the same time. That will similarly generate a link as well. And that's typically how I do it on the Mac and on the iPad. Let me show you one more way I would use this. In a lesson note, I keep a note for each of my private students where inside of that note, I have kind of like a catalog of stuff we did in that lesson. Sometimes that includes assignments, things we worked on, things I want them to work on, uh, sometimes like verbal or like in this case, written feedback that either mirrors or complements the verbal feedback I give them in lessons. And what's really cool is that I, because I'm always coming back to this note in the next lesson to kind of get an idea what we should focus on for the day, I can save myself some future clicks and taps if I go in here and I'm actually just going to pull up my clipboard. This is the same exercise that I copied to my clipboard earlier. I'm going to go ahead and bring that back here. And now that is a clickable link so that in the next lesson, when it's time for us to work on that piece, I can really quickly get it open on my computer. So that is automation links in Fourscore. It's saving me a lot of time, a lot of clicks and taps. I love it so much. Hope this is helpful.